There is a new tarantula dealer online that might be trying to scam you. So let's do a little investigating. Welcome to the Tarantula Collective. My name is Richard, and this is not the video I wanted to make as the first video of 2023. So this doesn't count. Officially, this is not my first video of the new year or in the new space. But it is an important topic, and a lot of people have reached out to me and asked me to make a video just kind of addressing this and getting all the information out there in one place. So that's what we're going to do very quickly. So back in December, a lot of people received an unsolicited email promoting a business called Tarantula Outlet. You also saw them being discussed in a lot of tarantula groups on Facebook as well as some tarantula forums online. Initially, it just looked like a new business, but you didn't have to look very hard to start seeing some very suspicious aspects. And quickly, you began seeing theories and accusations that Tarantula Outlet was actually owned and ran by the same guy that ran Arisu Spider Shop. Admittedly, almost all of the evidence is circumstantial. There's no smoking gun. There's no hard, direct connection. Unfortunately, most everything that's out there is either theory, accusations, conjecture, opinions. So there's a huge caveat on this video. I'm just going to say it right now. Now, allegedly. All of this is allegedly the situation. It could all just be a bunch of unfortunate coincidences. And I know correlation does not equal causation. But where there's smoke, there's fire. If it walks like a duck and it talks like a duck, it's probably a duck. But the situation seems to be that we're all hearing the beating of hooves. And we're assuming that it's horses. But the horses are trying to convince us what we're hearing are actually zebras. So I'm just going to take all the information that I was able to get together, give it to you, and it's going to be up to you to decide whether they're horses or zebras. Whether this is the same person that was running Arisu Spider Shop or whether it's a completely separate business. And for a little context, Arisu Spider Shop was a dealer out of California that came on the scene a few years ago. They reached out to me as well as some other YouTubers and forums and groups to do some promoting of their business. Now, my contact at Arisu's was a guy named Thomas, and it was explained to me that he kind of bought out or merged with a, a pre-existing business down in California. I believe it was called The Spider Room, ran by a guy named Matt. And Matt was kind of the guy that was at the expos and was talking to a lot of the customers. Customers. Thomas stayed in the background, kind of out of the public eye. And he had some connections with breeders or wholesalers over in Europe. In fact, he even claimed that he owned a bunch of tarantula wholesale businesses in Europe. And the main reason he didn't want to be forefront as the owner of a Risu Spider Shop is because of the wholesalers here in the United States would be very jealous and threatened that he was essentially bypassing them, kind of cutting out the middleman, bringing tarantulas directly into the country, which gave him the ability to sell them at near wholesale prices, or at least a lot cheaper than most of the businesses out there. And they seemed like a very legit business. I saw photos of them vending at expos. They sent me photos of their facility. I reached out to some of their customers, read all their reviews, did as much due diligence as a person could. Even talked to some of their competitors in California. And by all accounts, they were a legit business. And they hired me to run a couple of ads on my YouTube channel and Facebook group and, and social media, things like that, promoting this big sale they were having. The initial sale went really well, got a lot of good feedback from customers. Everybody was happy about their orders, they were happy about the prices. In fact, the only people that were really complaining about Arisu Spider Shop or their prices were people that also were tarantula dealers. So there was a pretty clear conflict of interest. And about a month after promoting their second sale, I started to get some emails from viewers that were a little concerned. They had placed an order and it was taking weeks to get shipped out instead of only days. And the more and more I got these emails, the more concerned I started to get. I reached out to Thomas from Arisu. He pretty much told me the same thing he had been telling everybody else. And for the most part, all the people that sent me emails upset about their order being messed up or not shipped eventually got a rectified. Shortly after that, Arisus merged or was sold to Jonathan Silver from Seven Wonders Tarantulas. Not long after papers had been signed and money had been exchanged, he realized that Arisus was in over their head. I have a whole podcast with Jonathan where he explains this in detail. If you want a much deeper dive, I'll link that at the end of this video. So the dust finally settled down from all of that and people started to move on with their lives. There was a huge blast. I mean, to hundreds, maybe thousands of people, this new business called Tarantula Outlet, offering amazing deals and some very rare species. And it, it seemed almost too good to be true. And once you went to that website, it was a different name, said they were out of uh, Charleston or Charleston, South Carolina or Columbia, somewhere in South Carolina or in the Carolinas. But a lot of the photos looked very similar. First thing I thought of is, these look like the photos that were on Arisu Spider Shop's website. A lot of those photos were kind of overexposed and oversaturated. And that look like the same thing that was happening uh, with the photos on this new website. Then this guy named Patrick, I think he goes by like 
Hadreg C or something like that on Facebook, who owns Wholesale Wildstock, started posting all these screenshots and making accusations that the owner of a Risu Spider Shop is actually the owner of Tarantula Outlet and is jumping through hoops to try and hide that they are the same person. So I did some research myself and I was able to find as well as pretty much anybody else that has Google, we were able to discover that the same business that registered the LLC for a Risu Spider Shop also registered for Tarantula Outlet, which in and of itself isn't a smoking gun because that's what that business does is they just register LLCs all over the country for different businesses. And it's a way for the owner of the business to not have to put their personal name and address and all that information on the registration that is public domain. It can be searched and people can find that out. So if you're trying to hide your identity, you don't want people to know you own a business, you can pay one of these companies to file an LLC under their name. So it was suspicious because there are a lot of companies out there that do that, but it wasn't a direct correlation. There was no way to prove that this was the same person. So the LLC for Arisu Spider Shop and for Tarantula Outlet, both were registered in Sacramento, California, through the same business that registers LLCs anonymously for individuals. Now this company has offices in every state in the US, but both of these LLCs were initially registered in California, in the same city. Not only that, they used the exact same agent. So the chances of two businesses being registered by the same agent at the same address in the same state, even though one is based in California and one is based in the Carolinas, seems pretty suspect. And I searched the North Carolina and South Carolina LLC databases to find any information of Tarantula Outlet being registered in those locations and no LLCs showed up. I could only find a registered LLC for Tarantula Outlet in California, despite their website saying they were based and would be shipping out of the Carolinas. So that's a little suspect. And then the owner of Tarantula Outlet started speaking out, threatening anybody that made any posts saying that they were somehow involved with the Risu Spider Shop or that they were trying to scam people using a Facebook page by a guy named Mike. And that Facebook page had just been created like that day or a few days before. And if you're not willing to put a picture of yourself online, that's that's a big red flag for me. So initially when Arisu Spider Shop opened up, it was explained to me from Thomas, the guy that, that owned the business, that he had merged or had bought out a guy's business named Matt. I think it was called the Spider Room. It, they had like a physical location. They also sold at expos and sold online, kind of partnered up with him and rebranded as Arisu Spider Shop and launched their store. At some point during all of that, Matt ended up quitting or got fired, depending on who you're talking to, and went back to just operating the Spider Room from the rumors and gossip that I was able to attain. And it was at that point that Arisu started going sideways, started screwing up orders and getting in over their head. At that point, they tried to merge with Seven Wonders Tarantulas and kind of took that whole garbage fire and dumped it on Jonathan's lap and then disappeared. Kind of took the money and ran. And just based on my conversations with Thomas between those two events, he made it very clear that he doesn't like to be associated with these businesses. He likes to hide in the background. So he's not a public figure or easily recognizable. And now we've got Tarantula Outlet, who seems seems allegedly to have some very similar aspects as a Risu Spider Shop. Seems to carry a lot of the same species, a lot of very rare species, using some of the same photos and the same verbiage, the same tactics as far as marketing and sales. And they have a front man named Mike that actually owns the business and is the one communicating with the public, claiming to have 10 years of breeding experience, even though no one's ever heard of this person before or have, has ever heard of this business. So to see somebody just kind of come out of nowhere with hundreds of species available for sale at really good prices with seemingly no connection to the established kind of uh, infrastructure of the tarantula dealing kind of business thing that goes on. That wasn't very technical, was it? It's suspicious. It's the reason a lot of people were kind of like, what's actually going on? Right? But again, there is no hard evidence that I can't definitively say that Tarantula Outlet is just a Risu Spider 2.0. But there is a lot of circumstantial evidence that's very, very hard to ignore. And after being called out for being a scam and being associated with a Risu, Mike or Tarantula Outlet didn't offer any evidence to disprove these theories. Essentially just claimed they were false and threatened legal action to anyone that shared those posts or continued to discuss it. Which also, in my opinion, is pretty shady and pretty suspect as it would seem to be very easy to just post a picture of yourself in a room like this did, where there's thousands of tarantulas you have available for sale. And when you looked at Tarantula Outlet's Google reviews or the reviews that they had on their website, it was very obvious that they were bought and paid for on Fiverr. And as of today, while I'm recording this video, I quickly checked to grab a few screenshots from Tarantula Outlet's website, only to notice that it's been taken down. Now it hasn't been completely erased and removed from the internet. The website is still up and active. They've essentially just locked it off like it's under maintenance. You can't see any of the inventory, any of the photos, any of the 
the reviews. It's, it's all been hidden, which again is another red flag. If it was legit, they could have come out with information to prove that they're legit. Instead, they decided to hide. And this is where things get interesting because while I was going through this daisy chain of LLCs and looking to see who owned what, this name popped up, Exo Outlet LLC. And they were based out of New Mexico, also registered using this same business. So the ownership of the Tarantula Outlet LLC was transferred from Morgan Noble from the Northwest Registered Agents to this other company called Exo Outlet LLC, which was registered as a business in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Also, ironically, from this Morgan guy from Northwest. So just based on the behaviors and some of the wording and the messages and, and the stuff that had come out from Tarantula Outlet, personally, I, I really suspect that the same guy that was behind Arisu Spider Shop is behind Tarantula Outlet. That along with the mass emails, the species they had available, the wide variety of species, some of them being extremely rare, and how cheap they were being offered, all seem to point to that conclusion as well. And the fact that all three of these businesses use the same company, but also the same agent at the same company, is pretty suspicious. And my fear, my worry, is that Tarantula Outlet has been burned. Everybody kind of figured it out, they called them out, word got around, and, and they decided to just scrap that idea, scrap that business. Now, personally, Personally, I don't think Arisu Spider Shop ever set out to rip anyone off. I think even though some people got the wrong species, some people's orders never got shipped, there was it was a whole mess. I don't think there was ever the intent to scam people. I think they just got in over their head. And instead of being a stand-up, responsible business owner and correcting those mistakes, even if it cost you a lot of money, they decided to just cut and run. And this is probably how they thought they would kind of weasel their way back into the community. A different business with a different name on the opposite side of the country, no one would ever suspect anything. But we did. And now they've disappeared. But I would remain vigilant. I would keep an eye out because that Exo Outlet LLC is still out there. It's still active. And it may be in a few months, there'll be a new website pops up. It's like Exotics Wholesale or something like that. Yeah, who knows what the name will be. But it's been made very evident by this individual's behaviors and decisions that they're not reputable, they're not honest, and they're not going to stand behind their brand. So whatever their brand is in the future, there's always going to be the risk that if crap hits the fan, they're going to cut and run and they're not going to stand behind and do what's right. I'm not an expert. I'm not a journalist. I'm not a reporter. I'm not a wholesaler, breeder, dealer. I'm none of that stuff. I, I just make videos about tarantulas. At no point do I claim to be an expert at any of this. So I'm leaving it up to you. You take all this information, let it sink into your brain and, and filter it out and decide what you want to do. Who you believe, who you don't believe, what seems legit, what seems like a scam. I'm not saying that Tarantula Outlet is definitively a Risu Spider Shop 2.0. I'm just saying there's a lot of circumstantial evidence that's very very suspect and there's just there's so much that it's hard to ignore so i've just put all that information together i'm giving it to you you make the decision on what you believe and if you want to dive even deeper into this whole melodrama i will link my podcast with jonathan from seven wonders tarantulas right here as always i appreciate you watching subscribe if you want to see more thanks for buying tarantula collective merchandise and i will see you next tuesday <laughs>